Review for lesson one. one. Let's go. So, the case. Soft case, put the cello in first, bow in second. Hard cases and soft cases, make sure you put the cello in between every practice session. When you put the cello down, put it on its side, bow on top. Posture. Bot on front third of the chair, pillow behind you. No slouching, no stiff back. Take a deep breath. Remember to relax. And every time you pick up the bow from your cello, which is lying down to the side like this, every time you pick it off the cello, try to pick it off that way. Make a habit of this. Good. Pick up your cello by the neck. This is a thing for when I wear buttons and it, and it might scratch the back of the cello, so my mom made this for me. In case you're wondering, put your end pin right on the triangle down there between your feet, cradle with your knees, sternum on the knob, with your hand relaxed on your neck and your other hand resting directly on your lap, this is called resting position. Go ahead and put your bow on the ground beside you. When I say go, pick up the bow and see if you can get it in the right position within two seconds. When I say freeze. Ready, set, go. One, two, freeze. Check your position. It's in the right position. If so, good job. One thing you can also do is, if you see the metronomes that go back and forth like this, you can practice going to left and right, back and forth like this. The, the goal of this is to remain relaxed while letting your bow swing back and forth. Some bows are heavier, the heavier ones make it harder, but this is a really good exercise for you to learn how to keep your wrist and your hand fluid while you keep a rabbit, not a wolf. So for the vocabulary this week, we have on the cello, the scroll, which is the head part, that scrolly part. The pegs, which are the black knobs that tune the instrument. Sometimes they're brown. The end pin, and the neck, and the bridge. The bridge is that little piece of wood right in the middle that provides pressure back on the strings. For the bow, we have the frog, which is the big black bass part. We have the hair, which is typically made of horse hair. The grip. Um, we have a stick and we have the screw, which is a little piece at the end that you use to tighten the bow. But we'll be covering that in our next lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll post an annotation right here. You can go ahead and click that and we can get started on lesson one.